Hey everyone, Rat Benatar here from the All Rats team, part of the Third Web community, and today we are talking about how to airdrop tokens to your community. An airdrop is the act of sending one or more tokens to one or more addresses as opposed to somebody going and purchasing or minting the token on their own. I'm going to show you why airdropping is such a popular practice in the Web3 space, and of course, how you can use Third Web to conduct an airdrop of your own. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with a friend who may enjoy it. Airdrops are an extremely popular practice amongst Web3 culture. They are most typically seen amongst two different types of organizations, early startup protocols like Uniswap or Optimism, and NFT projects like the Board Ape Yacht Club or Artifact. Back in February of 22, Artifact saw an opportunity to reward their holders of the CloneX NFT, both as a thanks for their early belief in the project and for continuing to hold onto the CloneX NFT despite the rise in value that it saw. And so they rewarded specific holders that met their desired criteria with the Monolith token, an item that has risen substantially in value on its own. The recipients did not have to visit any website to purchase or claim the Monolith token. It simply appeared in their wallets through an airdrop. Do you run an NFT project of your own and wish to do something similar for your community? Well, I know I do, so I'm going to show you how this is done using Third Web for my NFT project, All Rats. All Rats runs a monthly rewards program where we reward members of our community with additional NFTs based on how many tokens they hold from our Genesis collection and how active they are in our Discord community. So I'm going to airdrop one of these bonus NFTs now to our eligible list of holders. This is not a set of unique individual tokens, but rather just one token that will be sent to multiple people. So I'm creating this as an addition drop. If this is the first time that you're setting up the collection, you wanna make sure to give the collection a name, a token symbol, description, and collection image. Double check your sales and royalties information, then click deploy now. I've already got my collection, so I'm going to open my existing collection rather than deploy a new one. I'm going to mint my new token with the mint button and we'll fill in all of the details. Everything looks good, so I'm going to create my NFT. Once you have minted your new token, you'll see on the overview tab that you have a few actions you can take right here on the right hand side. We're going to choose airdrop. I have a list of wallet addresses I'm going to be dropping this to that I've prepared in a CSV file. You'll want to use the example CSV template that we have here for you so that everything is formatted properly. The interface will confirm the number of unique addresses that are included in this airdrop, and so as long as everything looks good, it's ready to send. Finally, I can confirm in OpenSea immediately that all looks correct. And that's all there is to it. Now we think airdrops are particularly helpful for Web3 projects that are looking to surprise and reward their community, as well as raise brand awareness and excitement. But I'm sure there's all kinds of fun and clever ways that you can come up with in order to use this. So if you have any ideas that we didn't cover, or just any questions about the content, please be sure to share with us down below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.